<laughs> oh, the hawk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and have I got a one on Wednesday for you? Yeah. Uh, the other day we had an unboxing Saturday, and I unboxed the, the, the I unboxed it. I unboxed this one. <laughs> And it is a beauty. It is a gem. So we're going to take a closer look at this super eagle, <laughs> right? Where do they come up with this stuff? This is outrageous. This is awesome. So yes, well, welcome. Uh, like this uh, video. Subscribe. Uh, make sure you tell your friends and everything share this video. We got a lot of people that are watching and uh, from all over the country and and uh, the world and uh, Yeah, it's just awesome. So uh, I bought this off uh, Merakai it's uh, kind of like a Craigslist for merchandise and I think I paid less than ten dollars to get it shipped uh, I have never seen anything like this and I, I I barely looked at the pictures and I just snapped it up and bought it I'm like dude it's plastic I gotta have it if you guys uh, have been watching uh, Roverland at all uh, in the uh, past uh, you know that I really get uh, a tickle and pink and all that about this plastic stuff uh, why because it's hard to find uh, it's it's disposable uh, it was made for uh, you know a, really made for a child and to play with and you know to break and be gone and they are very hard to come by my opinion now the problem is here um, I tried to do some uh, look at this wonky wheels here yeah this is crazy up here we could use like uh, less than uh, two or three centimeters on the front <laughs> front wheels there but anyway uh, so all this says is made in Hong Kong made in Hong Kong and it is a um, what is it friction friction drive and uh, pretty awesome uh, this thing is immaculate uh, condition I'm not gonna say that this is really kind of old but it is because really you don't really see toys made in Hong Kong anymore you know so um, it uh, yeah so it's it's pretty pretty neat uh, these wheels are kind of a common looking wheel uh, they're kind of they're rubbery they're 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 soft they're not plastic hard plastic they're uh, a rubbery thing and as we notice here up front that this is uh, supposedly a series 3 it's got a winch on there yeah series 3 look at the inset uh, radiator there <laughs> that that uh, hood just hangs over and it says super eagle on the hood yeah it's got the decals on it yeah, I thought that this was a steal. I mean, I I, I want to say it was it was under ten bucks. It was like ten bucks, uh, but it's got it's. Uh, now these these decals, I I would say scream seventies, okay, and uh, you know this is a uh, uh, series three. It's a left hooker. Uh, it's green. It's a one o one ten, uh, one o nine. I suppose one o nine really. Uh, and it's got the help, no glass in it at all. And uh, I got a surprise for you guys. Yeah, um, there is one clip that clips it together, and I was able to. Yep, ba bam! Look at that. I was able to get that clip out of there without damaging anything. That in itself is a feat to be all fet. <laughs> So anyway, so we get it open. Oh, I don't uh, now. I, now I just dusted it. There goes all the proof. I'm sure there was a Hong Kong fingerprint that we could have chased down. But anyway, here is the mechanisms that you can see. The big old lead washers on there, and it has a number three in it. On it. Now remember that number. We're gonna be seeing uh, 
a lot more of that. Now, it's backwards and upside down and all that, but that's all right. But uh, anyway, so those are uh, plastic chrome inserts there. And, um, you know, they're kind of, you know, washed out the chrome. But uh, that's uh, just press fit axles. And, uh, and then, you know, this is pretty, pretty nice. You can see the press fit type style axles there. But uh, it, it, it still works. It's, it's a wonderful little toy. It still works. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty groovy, man. I mean, I mean, that tells you something about the, I don't know, the durability for, I'm, I'm sure this toy did not cost that, that much new. All right, so we looked at the uh, base. Let's take a look at the rest here. So we're gonna turn this upside down and ba bam look at there, there's another number three. Huh, there must be a theme here. All right, so let's just uh, pluck that bad boy out of here and that's a tight fit. Boy, that's a tight fit. We'll flip it over and here it is. This is the interior. You can see that they just, uh, boy, this camera likes to really focus but not focus and uh, tricky. I'm sure there's a setting or something that I need to, to acquire here. But anyway, so here's the uh, two rows of seats. Not really too um, accurate to uh, the Land Rover Series 3. They would have three bench seats across the front there uh, and then a bench seat in the back there. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. It does have an interior with a number three. All right, we'll set that bad boy down there on that one there. All right, and let's take a look here now. And we can see, oh, look at there, number three. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> they're backwards, so I don't know. Um, I, I'm not really sure if they, I don't know. It's a, it's, they're, uh, they're bossed. They're not stamped in there, they're bossed, so they, they I don't know if, they just stamped it into the die, and then when it comes out, it's backwards. But anyway, so here we go. So this is uh, just taking a look here and trying to see any other markings, but very, very nice uh, interior here. You can see the railing that the uh, interior would sit on and stuff like that. There's the, uh, the back clip that it would hold on to. But uh, yeah, just a solid green color and uh pretty pretty snazzy no ribs or anything on there but uh yeah i mean de depicted pretty well no lights or anything on the back i mean it's got like a camel trophy type uh I don't, maybe that's a step i was thinking that might be a, a license plate but maybe that's a step more than uh anything else and uh the uh roof is indented there usually that's not so indented but yeah, pretty pretty darn cool, per, pretty darn tootin' cool. It's got the Alpine windows, but like I say, no no glass. It would be very easy to put glass in this. You know, obviously, pretty much. You know, all of them are straightforward, flat, and uh, except for the Alpines, they're curved. But yeah, could really do that. But yeah, it's got orange, red, and purple uh, lightning strikes down the side. For these uh, decals, I, I think that's an orange, yeah, orange, red, and a purple. So, really kind of cool. I like this. I really do. I, I really think that it was an awesome find. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back together, and we're going to uh, put it back together. Okay. So that's the uh, that's the proof that Dano took something apart for once. And we're gonna put it back together and that's it. Ready, one, two, three. There you go, awesome. All right, there you go, One Up Wednesday. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, hey, if you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comments below. Come on over to Facebook and uh, show me yours, please. I, I would like to know more about these, where they came from, where they're going, <laughs> and stuff like that. All right, that's the video. Thank you for joining me. Um, like, subscribe, and share. I'm your friend Dano. I'm out of here. 
Thank you very much. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.